iMetal raises $602,000 in fully subscribed private placement of flow through shares. From Vancouver, British Columbia on January 3, 2023, iMetal Resources Inc., trading on the TSXV under the symbol IMR, on the OTC exchange under the symbol AEDTFF, and on the Frankfurt exchange under the symbol AE7V announces that it has closed a non-brokered private placement for gross proceeds of $602,000. In connection with closing of the placement, the company issued 2,150,000 flow through shares at a price of 28 cents per FT share. The FT shares will qualify as flow through shares within the meaning of subsection 6615 of the Income Tax Act in Canada. In connection with completion of the placement, the company paid $42,140 and issued 150,500 common share purchase warrants to certain arm's length third parties, including Glow Res Securities Inc who assisted by introducing the subscriber to the company. The warrants are exercisable at a price of $0.35 cents until December 30, 2024. All securities issued in connection with the placement are subject to a statutory hold period until May 1, 2023 in accordance with applicable securities laws. Proceeds from the placement will be used for the development of the company's 100% owned car hail project. The Carhill property is located in the Abitibi region of Quebec, is less than 15 kilometers from Agnico Eagles Zone 58 and Gold Zone and about 25 kilometers west of the former Selbea mine which historically produced 56.9 mount grading 0.87% copper, 1.85% zinc, 39 grams per ton silver and 0.55 grams per ton gold from historical production. In December 2022 there was a discovery of a large copper-gold-silver molybdenum system less than 1.5 kilometers from the Carhale boundary. With new funding from our just-closed financing and the recent announcement by our neighbors, our team is excited to get to work at Carhale immediately, said Saf Dillon, President and Chief Executive Officer, about iMetal Resources Inc. iMetal is a Canadian-based junior exploration company focused on the exploration and development of its portfolio of resource properties in Ontario and Quebec. One of its flagship properties, Gauganda West, is an exploration stage gold project that borders the Juby deposit and is located within the Shining Tree Camp area in the southern part of the Abitibi Greenstone Gold Belt, about 100 kilometers south southeast of the Timmins Gold Camp. The 665 hectare Kurs Gold deposit comprises a series of gold bearing pyrotized quartz vein replacement brexias with a 2011 historic resource, 90 kilometers east northeast of Timmins. The 220 hectare Ghost Mountain property, 42 kilometers northeast of Kirkland Lake, lies 5 kilometers west of Ag Nico Eagles Holt and Holloway Mine. On behalf of the Board of Directors, Saf Dillon, President and CEO, iMetal Resources Inc., Saf at iMetalResources.ca, Phone 604 484 3031, Suite 550, 800 West Pender Street, Vancouver, British Columbia, V6C2V6, www.imetalresources.ca. Neither the TSX Venture Exchange nor its regulation services provider, as that term is defined in the policies of the TSX Venture Exchange, accepts responsibility for the adequacy or accuracy of this release. This news release may include forward-looking statements that are subject to risks and uncertainties. All statements within, other than statements of historical fact, are to be considered forward-looking, although the company believes the expectations expressed in such forward-looking statements are based on reasonable assumptions. Such statements are not guarantees of future performance and actual results or developments may differ materially from those in forward-looking statements. Factors that could cause actual results to differ materially from those in forward-looking statements include results of exploration, variations in results of mineralization, relationships with local communities, market prices, continued availability of capital and financing, and general economic, market or business conditions. There can be no assurances that such statements will prove accurate and, therefore, readers are advised to rely on their own evaluation of such uncertainties. We do not assume any obligation to update any forward-looking statements except as required under the applicable laws. This news release brought to you by Audio News Release, a division of Stock Marketing Inc. Subscribe to Audio News Release now and be the first to know.